Okay, the next in the series of at-home experiments. Now, for this we're going to be using our standard chemicals that we've been using several times already. We've got vinegar. Um, I've got white vinegar here, but um, the brown one, malt vinegar, would also work as well. And we've got baking soda, and I think um, baking powder would possibly also work for this as well, if you don't have baking soda. So, you'll need vinegar, baking soda, a glass, um, teaspoon, and you will also need matches for this one. Okay, so what we're going to do, first of all, um, I'm going to tell you what I want you to do. I'm not going to show you how to do it, but what the first thing I want you to do is light a match. Let it get burning. And then I want you to just hold the match in the top of the glass, like right inside the glass. I'm not going to do it because I want you to see what happens yourself. Okay. And see what happens when you do that. So when you just put a, burn, a burning match inside the glass. Okay. Now the next step, I'm going to get about a teaspoon of baking soda in the glass. I'll move that out of the way for now. And we're going to add, oh, we're going to slowly add vinegar to that. Okay. We're just going to do it very slowly because um, we don't want it to fizz over. Okay, so just add a little bit at a time. Let that fizz a little bit. And I'm just going to wait for that to settle down. Okay, so. I might add just a little bit more. That's probably enough. And I'm just going to let that settle for a little bit. Okay. Once that's settled down, I want you to do the same thing again. I want you to light a match. And I want you to hold it inside the top of the glass again. Okay. But I'm not going to do it now. I want you to do it yourself and see what happens. And see what that what does that mean. I'm going to make another video where I show you what actually happens, just in case you don't have the stuff at home to do it yourself.